All right, so in this one, we're gonna talk about how to use the limit test. And this is an instruction I'm actually a pretty big fan of. I think it can simplify a lot of programs in avoiding some of the other compares. And there are two ways it can be used, and I wanna walk through that. So these are in the compare bin up here, and I'm gonna drop my limit test right down to here. And I'm just gonna have a simple output on here, okay, just a light that will go on, uh, you know, when, when it's meeting whatever criteria it has. So here's what I have to do. For my test, I'm gonna use a word. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use my T4 colon zero dot ACC word. That's the accumulated off of this value right here, which I can go ahead and reset right now. Um, so uh, when I get started up, it'll be reset, which will be great. Now my low limit, I can have this as a word or just some value, okay? So I'm gonna make this turn on between five seconds and 10 seconds. Now remember that I have to be able to uh, figure out what the heck I'm doing with this, okay? So, it's, so if this is 200, but my time base is 0 0.0, that's a 20 second. So I have to make that same conversion for my low and my high limit, all right? So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and come over here. I'm gonna download, slap this thing into run, and I'm gonna activate that input. Now, nothing happens right away until it gets to 50, it turns on, and then it'll run to 10 and it will turn off. Now, this isn't a greater or less than. This is, will turn on if it's greater than or equal to 50, and it will turn off if it's less than or equal to 100. Okay, and so I really like this feature here. I think this is a really cool uh, thing you can use, especially with analog signals for controlling mixers off of like a, some type of, a, you know, a level sensor, analog level sensor. This could make it this, simplify it or give it as a backup or something like that. I think, I think, I think it's a really underutilized uh, instruction out there in the industry. Now, it can also be used a different way. If I make the larger number the lower limit and the higher number the lower number, the higher limit the lower number, watch what happens. Download this and run it. Activate this. Notice the light is on until it gets to 50. Then it shuts off and it will turn back on when it gets to 10. So it works the opposite, okay, of the first way we showed. You gotta be careful if you're gonna be doing this because notice that your output and your output will always be active. It'll, there's ways around that which are very simplistic. But if you're ever using this by itself, you have to be aware of that. If you do the opposite, this would, could turn something off, right? And so just be aware of that, that that's how this works, okay? And again, this is an input, so you can put things in series with it. You know, let me go ahead and just demonstrate that real quick. So if I come over here and I throw in a, oops, just an input here. Now this has to be true and this has to be true for this to go, okay? So if I hit this run, this, oops, download, place this into run mode, this isn't on like it was before. I have to wait until this activates. Maybe this could be like a, um, a lower limit switch or something like that. And then once I start counting, it will operate, okay? All right, and so that's basically how this works. That's how a limit switch works. I'm a big fan of this instruction if you can't tell, and uh, I think it has a lot of potential out there out in the field. All right, thanks for watching.